Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm bad. Are you, are you what? Are you okay? I mean, um, uh, well, uh, I have fever. <gasps> no, really? Oh my goodness! Yes. Or, or and arde, arde la garganta. How do you say? A sore throat. Sore throat. Okay. Um, are you taking medicine or something? Yes. Mm, but it's not effect. Not okay. yet. All right. So try to drink something hot, like hot tea. That helps. Yes, I, I, I'm drinking ginger tea with manzanilla. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that helps. That helps. Um, also, if you uh, take water um, with salt, I don't know if you have ever done that, um, but water with uh, salt um, <laughs> and you take the water, but not drink it, just gargle, like, you know, <laughs> the gargle, <laughs> okay. and then just throw it up. So that helps because I so, hope. yeah, or take milk with uh, hot tea and milk. Yeah. Um, I, I uh, herb the milk, uh, spread, spread the infection, I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's better to to talk to your doctor, <laughs> but uh, try I, try to think something. I want I wanted today because I can uh, arrive in my job in my office later. Oh my goodness! Mm. So well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you get better mm -hmm. soon. Thank you. Yeah. Carlos, you need a tequila. <laughs> no, no, but you know, I mean, no kidding, That's but the old I, I've heard, I've, I've heard some people recommend it and some people say that it works, but I don't know if it is true. Uh, I think that Rafael has the experience. <laughs> so, teacher, don't believe me. Ah. Ah, okay. Well, I don't know if there is another uh, idiom for that one in English, so we can translate it literally. So the one who does it imagines. <laughs> so <laughs> Rafael, uh -huh. and it's not Friday, Rafael. <gasps> And you yeah. are thinking details. about tequila. <laughs> details. Uh -huh. All right. Well, so guys, welcome to the class. And thank you so much for being on time. That's excellent. Today, we are going to practice a lot. So I hope you are ready to talk. <laughs> because today, guys, we are going to talk a lot. Um, let's see. Well, let's wait for your classmate to connect. So we are going to start. Um, is it raining in your city, everyone? Yes. Yes. It is raining. Okay. All right. Well, I hope the weather doesn't affect your connection. I know that sometimes that affects a lot. Um, recommendation, everybody. Remember that attendance is pretty important. Um, so when you cannot be in the class for any reason, an emergency, or because you had to work, always try to connect at least as listener, okay? Write your name and here on your profile, you just need to write the word listener. Um, because remember that 
uh, Zoom generates uh, your attendance. If you don't connect, you are not going to have attendance that day and that can affect you, okay? So for any emergency that you may have, try to connect at least as listener. Got it? Yes? yes Pretty good. Okay, so guys, do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. Mm. So you don't remember, oh my goodness. Um, we, saw, we saw continually <laughs> That's correct, very good. <laughs> okay, before starting, we have Mr. Solorzano here. Eh, hello, adelante. Hola, buenas noches, Lee. ¿Qué tal? Todo bien, bienvenido todo? a la clase. Okay, muchas gracias. Ok, eh, solventamos el inconveniente de ayer. Eh, si, de, si de nuevo, ¿verdad? A la sesión de usted ingresan estudiantes que deberían de estar en otro módulo, me hace el favor de confirmarnos, ¿verdad? Igual, eh, los chicos, ¿verdad? Que si ingresan de otra clase. Eh, nos confirman acá eh, en, la video, en la videoconferencia de hoy para nosotros estar pendientes. Mm, ok, perfecto. Okay. No muchas problem. gracias a todos. Las dejo con el licenciado. Un gusto. Ok, gracias. All right. So, everybody, let's start. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. So, let's see. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So today is July 4th. Today is a, a special day in the United States. Why? Do you know that? Celebrate Independence Day. Ah, very good. So in the United States, I mean, they celebrate this day, right? As Independence Day. How about in El Salvador? When do we celebrate Independence Day? On September 15th. That is the one. Very good. So we are going to continue in the unit number one. Okay, basically, guys, today we finished the unit number one and we are going to start unit number two. And that means that on the platform, you need to start working on the unit number two, okay? Try to advance, everyone. Um, yesterday, we were talking and using the extreme adjectives. And also, if you remember, we have a reading practice related to logistic, related to some uh, tips that you can do if you want to have a successful retailer store. So let's see if you remember, can you name some of those uh, tips, some of those recommendations that we studied yesterday? But don't look at your notebook, just try to remember. Uh -huh. Prioritizing schedule, schedule. Okay, prioritizing is a key. Yes, that was one. What else? Training the staff. Very good. Training the staff is vital. Mm -hmm. Letting go is a must. Very good. Letting go is a must. What else? What else? Hmm, you don't remember? Anything else? No? Shifting story inventory is okay. Yes, shifting store inventory, it's okay. What else? It's missing one. Try to remember about your competitor. Do you remember? about your competition. What do we need to do with the competition? 
ignore them or know them? Recognizing, uh -huh. recognizing the strategies of our competitors. Ah, cool. So those were some of the tips that we studied yesterday. If you don't remember, everyone, um, look at this. Prioritizing is a key, okay? Letting go is a must. Training stuff is vital. Knowing the competition is a priority. And shifting store inventory is okay. All right, so basically that was uh, the last topic in the unit number one, okay? Now, in order to start the unit number two, before that, we need to check another topic that is related to what we are going to study in the unit number two. And the topic is outsourcing. So this is the topic that we are going to be studying, guys, outsourcing. This is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the objective. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Class objective, the student will learn the richer vocabulary to outsourcing, practice reading, speaking skill, and try forth. They are new vocabulary with conversation practice. Thank you. So that is basically the class objective for today. We are going to check vocabulary related to outsourcing. And of course, we are going to speak a lot. Okay. So have you ever seen this word, outsourcing? Yes. Have you ever? Do you know what is the meaning? Yes, subcontractor. Ah, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell me about outsourcing? What do you understand for that? Is when one um, fabric maybe a uh, contract uh, employees for other fabric mm -hmm. basically that so in this moment we are going to see guys what the outsourcing is and during this unit we are going to be studying topics related to this one Okay, now before starting, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present, okay? Um, let's start with Ana Lorena. Present teacher. All right, Boris Alexander. Boris, no? Okay, um, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. All right. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Okay. Um, Edwin Antonio. Okay. Edwin, I think he's a listener. Okay. Elias Neftali. Okay. Um, Eulise Torres. Present. All right. Um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Josman Atilio. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Present. All right. Osman Enrique. Present, teacher. All right. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Wilber Alberto. 
Okay, very good. I see the message. Excellent. All right, let's start, everyone. So when we are talking about outsourcing, there are some questions that we need to clarify. So for example, what is outsourcing? Some of your classmates says, right? Ah, when a company hires to another or to some other employees from another company. Okay, that's a good subject. So that's a good concept. Now look at the next one. What kinds of services do companies outsource? What kind of companies, guys? What kind of service can we use in the outsourcing? What do you think? In, our, in my case, the, in my case, the teacher, uh, mm -hmm. for example, we uh, usually uh, we use. Uh, in support mm -hmm. because uh, our company need uh, support or, or training but usually is uh, in support mm, all right that's a good example i can see the chat says call centers actually that is one of the most common right call center if you see guys um the companies Think about a call center. For example, I don't want to say brands, but just pick one. For example, Sykes is one of the most common here in the country, right? Does um, the company belongs to the company to the country? Are the owners are from El Salvador? Yes or no? Not really, right? The call centers, guys, the owners, I mean, they are not from here. They just hire people from here, right? And that is a clear example for outsource. Got it? Yes. Now, which regions of the world are well known for providing outsourcing services for companies. What do you think? Uh, countries with uh, low uh, salaries. Very good. For example, which countries? China, for example. China, yes. Another one? India. India, yes. What else? Salvador. <laughs> yes, let's be honest. El Salvador is a region that they're providing outsourcing. So as your classmate said, the most companies, uh, regions, I mean, the most commons are in those countries where the salaries are very low. Because, of course, <laughs> the outsourcing is not well paid, okay? But that is one of the characteristics. Do you consider, guys, that outsourcing is something positive or negative? What do you think? Uh-huh. I consider it is positive because the salary is up uh, of the average. Very good. Look, they don't pay well. I mean, they don't pay what they should. But even when the payment is not the correct one, it's higher than the common or the average salary that we have so in that aspect is something positive and you guys the rest of you what do you think is it positive or negative uh-huh what do you think let's participate everyone i want to everybody talk i want to listen to your opinions Outsourcing is positive 
or negative? What do you think? Uh, I think that is positive, positive teacher, because mm -hmm. the companies can become a specialist in, in what they are doing. Mm, okay, uh, yeah. For example, in my company, outsource the transportation and mm -hmm. our provider are so specialist specialist in, in the transportation. That's great. It's very good. Excellent. So if you see guys, I mean outsourcing has both positive and negative aspects, right? It depends on the point of view. So we are going to talk a little bit about outsourcing. I have a, a, some sentences. Um, oops, can you see what I'm sharing right now? Yes. Oh, yes. Richard, I, I, I can I'm driving my, my listener. Okay, no worries. It's okay. Uh, can you see the presentation? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. sorry. Okay, look, we are going to talk about outsourcing and I have some sentences here. I want you to complete these statements with your own opinion, okay? So, for example, um, outsourcing is... With your own words, I want you to complete the idea. So what can you say here? Outsourcing is, what do you think? How could you complete this sentence? Is when we use other entity or do something. Okay, can you repeat again? is when we use other entity okay. or do something. Very good. So in that case, you can write that sentence. Okay, outsourcing is when we use another, ta, 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 ta. okay? I wanted to complete the sentence with your own ideas. I had about the number two, outsourcing can never, what do you think? How can we complete that? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Maybe uh, the service or uh, employees uh, never be uh, permanent in the uh, company or place when it's work. Okay, so outsourcing can never have permanent employees, for example, or a permanent location. Sounds good. Now, this is what we are going to say. I want you to complete these sentences with your own opinions. And then we are going to share it. So in this moment, I will give you five minutes. Complete the sentences with your own ideas. It could be something positive or negative. That depends on you. That depends on your point of view. So outsourcing can never complete the sentence. Or for example, the biggest problem with outsourcing is and complete the sentence. Is it clear? Yes? Yes, for sure. Excellent. So everybody, write your ideas in your notebooks. Later, I will be asking one by one. So you have five minutes. Go ahead. Complete the ideas, five minutes. 
If you have a question, just let me know. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Complete the phrases with your own ideas. Remember, you can use positive or negative sentences, the ones that you prefer. You have four minutes. Let me know when you finish. If you have a question, just let uh, me know. Yes. How do you say si no hemos hecho? Okay, si no hemos hecho, if, we, it's like this. If we haven't um, done. Mm -hmm. have if okay. we haven't done. Okay. Yes. Okay, everybody, two more minutes. Let me know if you finished. If not, you have two more minutes. One more minute. Everybody, please complete the sentences. We are going to discuss your answers here. So, one more minute.
Okay, you ready, everybody? Yes? I believe. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Um, number one, outsourcing is the volunteer. What did you write in the number one? Me, teacher? Yes, go ahead. When a company rely, I, I don't I don't know how I would say uh, Sepoya or Sepoya. Yeah, I rely. Relies uh, uh, with another ent entity mm -hmm. to provide a, spe a specialist a support a spe a specialist. Okay. Specialist? Specialist support. Ah, okay. Nice sentence. Thank you, Osman. Who else? What did you write in the number one? Me. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Outsourcing is when the company hire external people or service for day. Very good. Exactly. That's a good concept. Do you have any different one? Me, teacher. Yes, okay. Carlos. For is a person to contract another horse is not for paying officially the company. Cool, very nice, very nice. I like it, guys. Good ideas. Now, outsourcing can never. Who can help me with that one? Number two. Outsourcing can never. Me. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Outsourcing can never get all of the benefits as a direct employees. Very good. That's a nice idea. Nelson, can you pick one of your classmates, please? A victim. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. All right. Kevin, tell us. Um, outsourcing can never outsourcing can never avoid in the present it is absolutely necessary oh all right that's a good concept uh, can you pick someone kevin rafael <laughs> okay hello rafael hello Tell us, Rafael, the biggest problem with outsourcing is? Um, the low salaries and benefits to the person. Mm, okay, very good. Rafael, pick someone, please. Um, Charlie, Charlie Hernandez. Okay, so the biggest problem with outsourcing is? Hello? Me? No. Yes, you. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. Okay. <laughs> what, is, what is the question? <clears throat> okay, is the number three, the biggest problem? Ah, number three. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, number three. The biggest problem with the danger of outsourcing is when they finish the contract. Contract, no, I know. Contract, the contract? Uh -huh. Contract. And the area that they work left the spaces. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. Okay, mm -hmm. Carlos, pick someone. Maybe Elias. Um, I think Elias is listener today. Ah, okay. Mm. Ella. Who? Pamela. Oh, Pamela. Okay, Pamela, tell us. The biggest problem with outsourcing is? The biggest problem with outsourcing is the lower the lower salaries than other companies in the same business. Ah, okay, sounds good. So I can see, guys, you share some similar ideas. That's great. 
Eh, Pamela, can you pick someone, please? Um, Wilbur. Okay, Wilbur, are you there? Yes, I can. Okay, Wilbur, outsourcing is dangerous if? Outsourcing is dangerous if the, if the company broke down. If the company? Broke down. Ah, uh, breaks. Ah, breaks break. down. Yes, that's true. Very good. Lorena, how about you? What can you tell us about that? Outsourcing is dangerous if? If the personal or service uh, don't have uh, enough experience. All right, very good. Okay, I like your ideas, everyone. Um, Eulise, tell us, outsourcing is dangerous if? I don't know uh, a specific idea, teacher. I'm sorry? But, but uh, with, with your own words, no worries. When is dangerous? Or mm -hmm. why is dangerous? You can say both. When or why? When the company don't decide a good decision when about uh, a specific um, process about the product or or sequences uh, about process about the product when the company don't have a, a specific project. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's interesting, right? Imagine if they don't have vision, if they don't have something specific. So that's dangerous. And the last one, outsourcing is important because, Asman, tell us. Uh, I think her at the company, her at the company, Mm -hmm. giving support in its process. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Is there a, 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 about outsourcing uh, is dangerous. Mm -hmm. I, I think can can be dangerous uh, if is share information with the other company. When yeah. they um, share main information with other company. Okay, that happens actually, and it is dangerous. So just think about it guys, when you are an employee from a outsourcing company, everybody gets your information. The outsourcing company, the 3PL party, right? And the main company. So <laughs> that's kind of dangerous, especially when they share the documents for all the companies, right? They share files, all kind of information. Yeah. Yes, that's dangerous too. Uh, almost always uh, speak uh, about uh, the company in, I work. Mm -hmm. uh, always uh, when our company uh, decides get outsourcing, mm -hmm. uh, Send up people uh, and the uh, and sourcing to what or process. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So imagine that's very delicate, but sounds mm -hmm. good. That's great idea. Thank you for sharing. Who else? Tell us, guys. Outsourcing is important because. Uh huh. Anyone else? Me? Share your ideas. Yes. Okay. Outsourcing is important because it's another way to get uh, people with more knowledge. Mm, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Anyone else? Me. 
Yes. Consulting is important because help to little companies when they do not do not have some department. Very good, exactly. That's another good idea. Very good. The last one, outsourcing is important because... Uh, the outsourcing is important because uh, 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 they help our, our young, pop, uh, young pop people mm -hmm. uh, to get a job so they can improve uh, meal life. Yes, that's correct. Because you see guys, normally outsourcing companies, um, they don't ask, right? Like for a lot of experience. That's something kind of typical in some of those companies, right? So they help. I know, and, and this is what we discuss. Sometimes we know that the salary is not the one that it should be, but even though, it's a salary and sometimes it's better than the salary that some national companies offers. So as your classmate were saying, one of the most common uh, outsourcing here in our country is the call centers, right? So we're going to discuss some questions. Remember that the idea for today's class is a good talk. And listen, I want you guys to provide details. That's why, look at this. I wrote here, talk for one minute. So the idea is when you are answering these questions, I want you to imagine that you need you have a timer. I want you to imagine that you have a timer and that you have to talk for a minute, okay? That's the purpose. Sure. Try to give more details. Yes. Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm headache and it's killing me. So I will be as a listener. Sorry. All right. No worries. It's okay. Thanks for telling me. All right. So everybody, remember, try to give as many details as possible. For example, the first question says, when was the last time you had to contact customer service by phone? Do you, what, what, what do you think? Imagine that I say, ah, the last time that I called customer service was yesterday. Is that enough? Do you think that that answer lasted one minute? All right, it's too short. So give me details. Ah, yes, I called yesterday. I called to customer service in the, Tigo's company. And because uh, my internet, for example, wasn't working very well, and I think that the service was not working properly, and you continue talking. Okay? The idea is that you provide details. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Understood the idea? Se entiende la activity? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I know that today <laughs> we have some listeners. Uh, I understand, guys, and there's no problem at all. So just remember, um, before going to the breakup rooms, guys, if I say company, can I say, ah, the company don't? Can I say that? No. What is the correct one? Doesn't. Doesn't. Correct. So be careful with the third person. Every time that you are talking about something or someone, but in singular, remember that it's in third person. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send the questions. If you want to take a screenshot, uh, you can do it. I'm going to send the questions also on WhatsApp's group. Is there a question that you don't understand the meaning or the vocabulary, everyone? Or all these questions are clear? Are they clear? Yes? What is the meaning? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, someone had a question. Can you repeat? Uh, what is the meaning? Annoyed. Annoyed. Okay, everywhere. Good. 
annoy. Anybody? Have you ever seen that word? Molesto? Yes. So, have you ever become angry? Angry, right? It's like furious. And annoyed is like disgustado, molesto, right? That is the meaning for annoyed. Got it? Yes? Any other question, guys, about the vocabulary? Nope. Okay, so let's go to work with your classmates. Uh, let me create the groups and let me send the questions on WhatsApp's group too. Um, if you are in a group where nobody is participating or nobody is answering you, tell me and I will switch you to another group. Um, guys, remember the idea is to talk, okay? So talk as much as possible, try to provide details. It's not necessary, guys, to share the screen when you are in the breakup rooms, okay? If you want to share the screen, I mean, it's okay, but it's not necessary. The idea is that somebody can read the question, everybody active listening, and you answer, okay? So sharing the screen is something optional. Okay, let's see. I'm just creating the groups. I have a lot of listeners. I'm sorry, give me a second. Okay, everybody, let's go to work. Zero Spanish, please. Let's go. Enter to the breakout rooms. And full nice English, right. Nice to see you, classmate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Okay, I will share my screen. Excellent. Okay. okay. When was the last time you had to contact customer service by phone? Um, I want, I, I'm going to start. Uh, I remember it uh, was uh, three week, weeks ago uh, because I I need uh, I, I needed uh, to call Klesa Klesa uh, in, in my in my house didn't didn't have didn't didn't have uh, ener energy okay. energy uh, and then take my my cell phone I, 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 I call that's all okay and you Nelson mm, for me the last time that I needed uh, to contact customer by phone mm, it was uh, the last month, mm, maybe, yeah, Hi. the last month, yeah, uh, because uh, in the company we have a problem with the platform Microsoft 365 and uh, I create created the ticket for Microsoft and then they contact uh, me and save me about the, the problem and that mm, they need needed okay. uh, make proof or test proof it's correct proof teacher or test. It depends. What are you trying to say? Uh, they needed uh, to make proofs about the environment. Mm, okay, in that case it's better test. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. 
Okay. Uh, we need. Uh, they need uh, needed the results of the test for analyzing. Um, uh, another day, and when uh, they analyzing the logs, uh, they contact me again. Uh, that sounds very complicated. Yeah. <laughs> um. You can share with us uh, uh, some licenses of Windows <laughs> for free. <laughs> no, no, man. <laughs> ah, come on, you rascal. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, it's not bad. In my case, I contact to support um, the last Tuesday, I guess. Because okay. uh, actually, I I have a problem with uh, welding coils for Lincoln Electric, and they don't have any coil in Mexico. But I need three hundred, and my 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 customer asking me for the the product and I can say nothing about about it. Eh, that's all. Okay. Coils, uh, do you know the term? Uh, repeat. Coils. Aceite? Coils. Oh, no, oils. That's oils, coils. C O I L S coils. Coils. Uh, what what does that mean? Do you know uh Tesla coils? <laughs> no, I know. In <laughs> Spanish, bobinas. Coils. Uh -huh. Ah. Okay. And welding coils uh, is a uh, bobinas de soldadura. Son bobinas de alambre para soldar. Okay, okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, have you ever become angry or annoyed at a customer service or sales professional over the phone? Well, <clears throat> in my that day, I was very um, annoyed. Because, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, I my, because my internet uh, doesn't work. So that's why it was annoying. So it does. Uh, that's it. That's very, that's very common with deal service. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. The... Let's go with the second question. Uh, have, have you ever become angry or annoyed at a customer service or sales professional over the phone? Uh, in my case, maybe with Theo. <laughs> maybe with Theo, I... I became very angry because it's the same the same situation that Elise had. Um, I I was having problems with my internet. Um, they they only was like, uh, we are having problems right now, and you have to wait. And I was like, oh my god, I need the internet. But uh, that's that's the case for me. What about you, Jose? Mm. I I believe it was one year year ago. Okay. With Tigo, too. 
do? What happened, Jose? I, I wanted cancel, cancel, cancel. Yes, cancel. The service, and they say, Amy, that they can't hacer el trámite. They can't do it. Do it by phone. That's true. <laughs> I I I tried to do that, and they they told me the same. <laughs> and what what did you do, Jose? I I I went. Okay, uh, yes. To to the stores. The stores, eh? In San Miguel. And you can do the the, the tramit? Yes or no? Yes, I, I can. I can do it. Okay. That's a horrible situation. <laughs> what about you, Eulise? Have you ever become angry or annoyed with a, com a customer service? Okay, the specific uh, is when the customer was uh, annoyed or and, you? or I. <laughs> Or, you, or, or I. Maybe, I don't know, <laughs> maybe the, the boy or the girl that is on the phone with you. Okay. Um, only, uh, I have only uh, call when I, when call my services and uh, Tigo, when Tigo, Okay. But um, my internet uh, doesn't work when raining, but uh, mm -hmm. so when I have a problem with my internet, with my internet, always I call then, but uh, then uh, some style are um, how do you say amable i forgot it kind uh, yes kind uh some style they are kind and some style they are very um annoyed annoyed yes so some style I I'm annoyed when with then because my internet doesn't work. <laughs> yes. Okay. Only that. Okay. Okay, yes. We we have to be patient. My last time uh, was the third day. The last Third day, uh, something of Tigo uh, call me and say, hello, Kevin, uh, do you have internet or do you have a extension or, uh, or our service? And I said, no, and I don't want a service. And you can, and he, he questioned me. Uh, can you can you give me a name or a person that that would like to have my service? And I and I tell and I told him, no, no, really, really not. But he continued. He skipped. He kept. He kept. I insist, I insist, I insist, I insist, I insist. But um, I try, try 
to be uh, amable. Kind. Kind. Huh? Kind. Kind. I I I tried to be kind uh, mm -hmm. with him, and finally I I put the the red bottom and off the coat. Okay. That's it. Okay. The second because. Do you Second. don't answer is have you ever become angry or annoyed at at customer service or sales sales? Really a little bit in in trust with that person. <laughs> with the <tigo> <laughs> for me, uh, for me, yes. <laughs> and it was um so insist one two three <laughs> times but, but I, I try to be kind because i know that that is his work uh -huh. uh, try to sell try to sell his product and I maybe I I have I have been angry, but I try to be kind. Okay, it's the same case with me with the bank. <laughs> okay, Carlos, uh, Carlos and Lorena, you. Uh, you talked about the three, the third question or not? No, only one and two. Okay. Yeah. Have you worked in customer service before? Do you think this would be a difficult file to work in? Yes. Yes. It's difficult. Okay, Carlos? Your first. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, no, I don't have. I don't have uh, work customer service. Uh, you think this? You, you think? You, um, I want to understand. Do you think this would be a difficult field working? Working? Yeah. So that I, means okay. that means if it is difficult or easy. For example, do uh -huh. you think that working in a customer service is it easy or is it difficult? What do you think? It depends the, the situation, depend the person. <laughs> uh, there are per, uh, people uh, difficult. Uh, for example, I work. Uh, yes, I uh, before I worked in computers, many computers. Uh, I was instructor in the central computer. Maybe I, compute center. Computer compute center, center, huh? I was instructor of the computer center. Yes, computer in, center. Uh, uh, in the computer Carlos, center. You work there. in computer center. Yes, before. Okay. Uh, here, and uh, uh, there are people uh, difficult. Some person. Uh, I explain. I explain 
care or explaining. Eh, había que tener mucha paciencia. Patience. Hay, hay, hay a lot of patience. Y the other person no. Eh, is for me is depend the situation and the, the oh, bad words. No, I don't know if it's correct. Uh, insults. Really? I don't know. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah, oh. and and call and call for the same. They say uh, insultos, insult. I don't know. Teacher, That help works. me. Am I am I listening to Spanish in this group? No. no teacher, it's <laughs> your imagination. Teacher, how do you say insultos in English? Injuries, I guess. You can say uh, insults. Insults. Insult. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, also, you can question. say course. Uh huh. My question: course. What is the correct pronunciation? Call center or call center? Call center. Is the correct call center? What happens, guys, is that is the accent. I mean, if you say call center, it's all right. However, most of the people in English sometimes the letter T they don't pronounce it, so we say call center. It's the same when we say the word identify sometimes identify. we don't pronounce uh -huh, we say identify yeah. so there are some scenarios where the letter t just you can omit it but if you pronounce it it's correct too so both are correct okay thank you okay. Thank did you. you finish all the questions uh, yes. Yes. yes did you talk for one minute yes sure but not spanish right Never. No, teacher. Here, uh, never speak Spanish. Spanish. Nelson, why? Why? <laughs> they digo all, all the day. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My goodness. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Let's go back to the main room because uh, we don't have more time. Let's go back. Okay. Okay. Wow. Very okay good. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates to join on the break in the main room. Let's wait for them. All right, all right. Time's up, let's go back. Did you speak? Yes? Yes. <laughs> Poor Carlos, you have sore throat and you had to talk a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Eyes uh, off the camera. Because <laughs> excess of the tongue, how do you say? Uh, too much cough. Too much cough. Nice. Oh, camera. <laughs> it's all right, it's okay. Keep drinking something. That is going to help you, okay? But thanks for the effort, Carlos. I know that you are kind of sick, but thanks for the effort, okay? Yeah. Very yeah. good. Everybody, could you answer all of the questions? Yes? Yes. Did your classmate provide a lot of details? Yes or not? Yes, we tried. <laughs> we tried. Uh, that's the attitude. That's the idea. That's the idea. Did you listen to any words in Spanish? No. No, right? Never. Mm, okay. All right. Now, something positive, guys. I was listening to the groups. And yeah, I was listening that you were trying to give a lot of details. So that's great. Interesting answers. I was listening, by the way, I, I could identify some common scenarios, some common companies, <laughs> the ones that you have issues with. 
And that's great because you are speaking a lot. Now, little details that we need to consider. Let me share it. Um, these are some details that I was listening in some breakup rooms. For example, she said me. Can I say this? Said me. Or they oh, yes. said me. Uh huh. Told yes, me. Oh, told me. me. Ah, okay, look at this one. In this scenario, guys, for example, if I want to say me dijo, right? We have two options. We can say told me, or if you want to use the verb say, you need to separate and you have to say like this, said to mm. me. But if you say just set me, mm -mm, that is not correct. You need to add the preposition to. Said to me. Said, said to me. Yes. If you mm. use the verb told, it's all right. You don't need a preposition. Just told me. Okay? That's a rule. Keep in mind that rule. Now, some of the questions, everybody, were in simple past so mm, be careful because i was listening to some verbs in present what is the past of have had. Had. had very good what is the past of contact contacted which one contacted correct contacted what is the past of can Cool. 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 Correct. So you see, you know the verbs in simple past, but when you are talking, you are not changing the verbs. You are talking in past, but you are telling me the verbs in present. So be careful with the simple past. Um, can I say work it? I work it. I work. Worked. Ah, we say worked, worked, okay? Worked. Be careful with the simple past. Let me ask you, simple past, it's easy for you or do you think that it's difficult? What More, or less. <laughs> More, More or less. More or less, okay. Will be the pronunciation of some words. Like the regular verbs, the ones that are ending in ed? Could be. Or the verbs in general. I'm asking mm -hmm. these, everybody, because if you want, uh, we can take some minutes in some classes to review and practice a little bit simple past. But just if you want, just if you think that you need to review it. Okay, because in this moment I can see, I mean, you are telling me very, a lot of verbs in present, even when you are talking in past. Okay, so if you want, we can review it. We can take some minutes in some classes. Is it okay? Okay. Yes, everyone? Okay. Yes? Yes. Pretty yes. good, excellent. So we can do it, okay? We will try. Now, because the idea is that you talk for a minute. I have a timer over here. I will interview you guys and I wanted to provide details, okay? I need a volunteer who wants to try, who wants to talk for one minute. Only one? <laughs> Ay, my goodness. Let's see, I'm going to pick someone, the ones that is not smiling. So, Eulise Torres. I, I don't know if you're I, smiling, no, but it, yes. I, cannot, I cannot see you because it's, it's kind of dark, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Eulise is going to answer one of the questions. All right, and he is going to try to give a lot of details. He's going to try to talk for one minute. Okay, Ulisse, you can do it. Um, the question is the number one. 
when was the last time you had uh, to contact customer service by phone? Go ahead. Okay, my last uh, time was when I called, when I called in the cost, the Tigo, because I, I had a problem was with my internet. So they told me, uh, you have to uh, off your, uh, your internet. Then for 10 minutes, you try to uh, on your internet and try to connect some some app or try to work in phone or or, or different uh devices positive devices mm -hmm. so it, that day i was annoyed because time's that's... up look okay. ah very good one minute if you see i mean eulisa was talking i think that he could continue for more time very good elisa excellent job now you see guys okay. one minute it's pretty easy elisa pick one of your classmates please a victim okay um i don't know but um nelson try it <laughs> come on guys <laughs> Okay. okay. I'm sorry for you. Nah, don't sorry. Sorry, not so. <laughs> Nelson, okay. you have to talk for one minute, okay? Uh, About what question? Question number two. Have you ever okay. become angry at a customer service or sales professional over the phone? Go ahead. Mm, yes, in that, in some cases, I need to create tickets for customer service of Microsoft. And they contact me first uh, for email and say me, I contact in a few minutes, but sometime pass the day and nothing. I pass the other day and they don't call me. And when they call me, uh, hung up the call and sent an, another email saying, we tried to call uh, Nelson, but he, 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 don't, he can't answer the call. Uh, I tried another day and it's annoyed for me <laughs> because it's not true. And time's up. <laughs> Very good. Easy or difficult, Nelson, to talk for a minute? Mm, easy. <laughs> easy, of course. <laughs> Next time, I will give you two minutes. Okay? okay. So if you see, guys, listen, the idea is to give details. If I'm not asking you to talk for a minute, I mean, we start to get in the comfort zone, right? Nos empezamos a quedar en la comfort zone and it is like, ah, con que diga una media, un par de palabritas en la answer and that's it, right? No, guys, you have to think, okay, en cada pregunta que me hagan, I will try to talk for one minute. And if you see, it is possible. It's not easy, I know, but it's not impossible. You can do it, right? Uh, let's see, because of the time, uh, let's try just for one more person. So Nelson, can you pick someone? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm, let me see. Lorena. 
All you right. are smiling. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's because I wait she was... for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lorena, let's see. Uh, let's try with the question number three. Have you ever worked in customer service before? Do you think this will be a difficult job or not? Okay. Go ahead. I never work in customer service, but I think that is a difficult employees because uh, when the people need uh, sales a service, uh, sometimes the people in other place uh, is angry or maybe feel bad and don't receive the call with a good way and sometimes uh, say a bad uh, word or maybe when call the bank and ask or maybe uh, they can sell a credit card and the people say I don't want I don't want and they insist and give a benefit about the the service is stressful. Maybe. And time's up. Very good. Excellent. So you see, guys, you can talk for one minute. Definitely. Next time, I need to give you more time, right? Two minutes, three minutes, maybe. That's the attitude. Easy or difficult? Mm -hmm. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. I mean, come on. Ya después ni van a sentir el tiempo, guys. Believe me, it's just with the practice. Um, but in Spanish, because I want to be clear with this. De verdad no quiero que caigan en la comfort zone. Y he visto esto específicamente en los niveles de intermedio. Right? En el basic, empezamos con todo. Like, hey, yes, I want to learn. Y vamos agarrando como que todo el knowledge and everything. In the intermediate level, es como que algunos entran como una zona bien flat. Right? Remember, ¿para qué sirve el intermediate? Vocabulary and speak. All right? Así que let's be careful de no caer en esa zona de confort. Please, always try to give more. Make effort, okay? Así que be careful with that. But so far so good, guys. Excellent job. Now, uh, if you see, we were talking about those uh, questions related to customer service because call center are some of the most common companies related to outsourcing, okay? Now, Talking about that topic, outsourcing, there are some vocabulary. We are going to learn it. Look at this. I have some words and I have the definitions over here. The idea is to match those words with the correct definition. For example, startup. Startup is a noun. It's not a verb, it's not an adjective. It's a noun. So what do you think? What is the meaning for start up? Have you ever seen that word? Maybe it's a company that is just beginning to operate. Okay, a company that is just beginning to operate. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Could yes. be. Could be. Okay, let's try. So, start up a company that is just beginning to operate. All right. How about the number two? We got outsource. Outsource is a verb. If you say outsourcing, that's the noun. So, outsource. What do you think? What is the correct definition? Maybe, Maybe letter D. Letter C. Hmm. Okay, some of you say letter C. Some of you say letter D, you say? Everybody, what do you think? Letter, letter C. C. Letter C. 
Yeah. Letter C, volunteer for reading the definition, please. Change for somebody outside a company to do work or provide goods for that company. Okay, thank you. Okay. Very good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, then we have the word frustrated. Frustrated is an adjective. So what is the meaning of frustrated? Letter D. Letter D, can you read it please? Feeling annoyed and impatient because you can not do or uh, or achieve what you want. Thank you. Do you agree, everyone? Is that yes. the meaning for frustrated? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever felt frustrated? Always in my job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you, everyone, have you ever felt frustrated? I share the Nelson opinion oh, <laughs> every day in my job. Every day at job. Oh, my goodness. All right. Excellent. <laughs> at least you have things in common, right? <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, we got the next one. Flawed. Flawed is an adjective. What is the meaning for flawed? Letter E. A. A, sorry. Okay, E or A? A. 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 Can you read it, please? Loud is not perfect or correct. All right. So when something is not perfect, we say loud. Is your job loud? Yes or not? Yes. <laughs> Imagine flawed. What would be the translation of that word? What do you think? Defectuoso. When... I'm sorry? Defectuoso. Sounds good. Yes. Defectuoso. Deficiente. Right? When we say like imperfect. Can you tell me guys something flawed? we can use this adjective with the product, product. With, uh, yes of course you can uh-huh can you tell something flawed example teacher which the one submarine submarino submarine uh, i don't know how do you say submarine hmm I'm not, I don't remember. Let me check. So, submarine. 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 Yeah, submarine. submarine. When uh, uh, die by people. Oh, the ones who travel to visit yeah. Titanic? Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe cloud. Correct. Nice example. <laughs> yes, I liked it. Exactly. That submarine was totally flawed, right? Very good example. So remember, flawed is a synonym of imperfect, okay? Now the last one, la shout. La shout is a verb, but in this case, because it's followed by a consonant, is a phrasal verb. What is the meaning of la shout? Volunteer for reading, please. Attack or criticize somebody in an angry way. Thank you. So what will be the translation, guys, of la shout? What do you think? Uh -huh. Maybe maltratar. No. Yes, could be. But remember that in this case is when you feel very angry. Most of the time, guys, when we use um, la shout is when we are just using words, not a physical attack. Okay, it's only with 
words. Have you ever lashed out someone or anyone? Yes. yes. <laughs> but not at work, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you? Okay. Lash, lash out, it's like insultar. Yes, basically. No. Mm -hmm. okay. Remember that in this case, um, look, we can use it in both the scenarios. I mean, uh, insultar verbalmente a alguien, right? <laughs> o tal vez repartir un par de golpes. But most of the time, we use lashed out when we are just talking about verbal, okay? Insulting, but just with words. Got it? Yes? Yes. Nelson, have you ever done this before? No yet. Oh. Ah. <laughs> no. Okay, I believe you. I believe you. Everybody, how about you? Have you ever lashed out to anyone? Yes? No? Mm. <laughs> okay, I hope so. Don't do it. Okay, you have to be patient. Now, is it clear the vocabulary, everyone? Yes? Clear the vocabulary or is not clear? Okay, if it is clear, you can copy it or take screenshots if you want, because we are going to use this vocabulary, okay? Um, the idea, guys, and this is what I want, I wanted to write sentences, okay? I wanted to write sentences, but instead of five because of the time, let's change it, okay? I'm going to ask you only three, okay? Write three sentences using the vocabulary and send the sentences on WhatsApp's group. For example, if you want, you can use outsourcing, um, you can use frustrated, and you can use lashed out. Um, in this case, well, let me write them in the basic form. Remember, you have to follow, guys, the function. Start out, do you remember what is that? Start out is a noun, is a verb, is an adjective. What is the function? It's, it's a noun. Exactly. Now? So you have to use it as a noun. Okay, I already corrected this. Only three, okay? If you use frustrated, for example, Frustrated is a noun, is a verb, or is an adjective? Adjective. Exactly. So you have to write a sentence using them as an adjective. The sentence can be about whatever you want. For example, you can say, I always feel, as your classmate says, right? Frustrated at work. That could be one sentence, okay? Sentence number two, okay, I will use flawed. Um, my, oh, well, the sentence that your classmate said, the submarine was totally flawed, okay? Sentence number three, you can decide another word. Ah, uh, I want to use a startup and so on and so on. Got it? I wanted to write the three sentences and send it on WhatsApp's group, but please don't send it one by one. Write the three sentences and send it at the same time, okay? In one only message. Don't forget to add your full names because I need to know who sent the sentences. Is it clear, the activity? Everybody? Yes? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes. Yes. Yes? Perfect. Okay. 
Let's do it. You have five minutes for this activity, everyone, because we need to move on to another activity. You can pick the one that you preferred. If you want to use a startup, perfect. If you want to use outsource, do it. Frustrated, lash out, or flawed. The oh, ones only, that you prefer. <clears throat> only three sentences, teacher? Three sentences, yes. For all? Yes. Okay. Only three sentences. You can write the sentences in present, in future, in past, the grammar tense that you prefer. Okay, go ahead. If you have questions, just let me know. Don't forget to send it on WhatsApp's group and everybody please be careful with the spelling. That's the rule, be careful with the spelling. Go ahead, you have five minutes. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Okay, I can see some of your classmates are sending the sentences, very good. I will check the sentences, everyone. And if you have some mistakes, I will let you know. You have two more minutes. So everybody send your sentences. All right, Nelson, very good sentences. I liked it, very good. Everybody send your sentences, please. Two more minutes, 
two more minutes. If you have a question, just let me know, please. I can see some people are using start up as a verb. Remember guys that start up is a noun. Okay, remember that is a company that, for example, is just starting. If you want to use it as a verb, I mean, you can do it, but in this case, you cannot say start up with the dash. You have to write it without the dash. For example, you have to say start up, no dash, okay? In that case, you can use it as a verb. On the other hand, you cannot do it, okay? Okay, time's up, everybody. Send your sentences, please. I can see very good sentences. I liked it, very good. Very good. Now, there are just little details, everybody, that you have to keep in mind, and it is the third person. If we are talking in third person, remember, we have to change it. Okay, because of the time, I cannot share with you all of the sentences, but I will take some of your sentences to provide a feedback. For example, let me share, where is it, where is it? Okay, this one. Okay, I will share with you two sentences from the ones that your classmates sent, and we are going to analyze them, okay? Let me open up the sentences and let's see if you can see them. Let's see. Okay, look at these sentences, everybody, please pay attention. If I say, she lashed out um, that bus driver in the traffic. Is this sentence correct? What do you think? She lashed out? Uh-huh, is in simple present or is in simple past? What do you think? If it is in simple present, if I'm talking about she, what do I need to do? Letter is. I'm sorry? Letter is in a verb. Yes, that's correct. In this case, because it's ending in SH, I'm going to add, look, ES. So we are going to say, she lashes out. If it is in simple past, on the other hand, you just need to write the verb in past. She lashed out. Pretty good. Now look at the next sentence. Remember that 
outsource is a verb. Okay, so can I say we need outsource a company? Maybe we need to outsource. Very good. Remember, we need to separate the verbs. So we are going to say we need to outsource a company. Okay. Be careful, everyone. If you see, I mean, the idea for this uh, exercise is to practice writing. And remember that in English, one letter is wrong, the meaning of the sentence can change. So in your opinion, everybody, which one is easier to talk? I mean, speaking or listening? What do you think? Speaking or listening, which one is easier or which one is more difficult? Uh -huh. uh, speak is a little is easier than um, writing. Uh, writing. <laughs> okay. And how about you guys? For you, which one is more uh, difficult or which one is easier? For me, teacher, uh, speaking is more easier. It is speaking is easier than, than listening. Okay. How about writing, guys? Writing is easy or <laughs> difficult? More difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you think that writing is difficult? Uh. Because if you see, when we are writing, we need to pay attention in the structure, in every single letter, right? So it's pretty difficult. But the idea, guys, is that we need to practice all the areas, not only speaking. So if you see, sometimes we need to take time in listening. Sometimes we are going to practice writing, sometimes reading. So the idea is to practice all the skills, okay? Now, if you haven't finished the sentences, please send them. I'm going to be checking the sentences after the class, so send them. Okay, before continue, guys, I'm going to check attendance again. So when you listen to your name, say present. Um, Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Okay, Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto? Okay, um, Carlos Ernesto. Yes. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Okay, um, Elias Neftali. Eulise Torres. Present. All right, um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Josman Altilio. Present. All right. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Present. All right. Osman Enrique. Present, teacher. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present. All right. Rafael Alexander. Present. Very good. And uh, Wilber Alberto. Okay, pretty good. All right, guys, let's continue. Now, we are going to have a practice reading comprehension, okay? This is a very easy exercise. I have a conversation here, okay? But the sentences are not well organized. So I want you guys that the conversation you have to try to reorganize all the sentences and put each part of the dialogue in the correct order, okay? Look, this is a typical call center uh, or customer service phone call. The conversation starts with, good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? So after this, what do you think? 
What is the next sentence? What do you think? Hello, I'm calling about an issue I'm having with my computer. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. I agree. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we say, hello, I'm calling about an issue I'm having with my computer. What is next? Excellent, sir. What seems to be the problem with, you co with your computer? Okay. Everybody, do you agree? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, I heard someone. Do you have another option? Uh, maybe, okay, sir, I need your customer support number. Mm, okay, so everybody, what do you think? Um, excellent, sir. What seems to be the problem with your computer? Or, okay, sir, I'll need your customer support number. What do you think? The first for me. Okay, Nelson says the first one. Excellent, sir. Okay. And you, everybody, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Let's participate, everyone. We don't have more time. Excellent, so. sir. Excellent, sir, to too. Problem with your computer. Okay. Hmm, actually guys, well, for me, for me, excellent. So what's seen to the, the problem with your computer? Okay. Your computer. 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 All right, computer. actually, yes, but imagine guys, if someone is telling you that he's having issue with the computer, does it make sense if we say, hey, excellent? Is that correct? <laughs> How would you feel? Imagine that you call Tigo and you say, I'm having issues with my internet. Do you think that the agent can say, hey, excellent. <laughs> can we say that? No. Not really, right? So not that's why all, it doesn't make sense. Uh-huh. Not at all, but uh, in the number three, uh, where you put the number three. Yes. Uh, I cannot. Uh, I cannot uh, ask uh, my uh, to my customer what the support number if he, it is the first time he calls. That depends exactly. Of course, if it is the first time, right? Uh, of course, doesn't make sense to ask for the support number. So, but let's pretend in this case that he already has the support number. So. Remember, what happens is that we cannot say excellent, right? When they are expressing an issue. So we say, okay, sir, I'll need your customer support number. And after that, what is the, the next sentence? It's number 2128A2818. Perfect, excellent. And then? Excellent, excellent sir. <laughs> ah, okay. In that case, we can say it. Okay, so he said, okay, excellent, sir. What seems to be the problem with your computer? What is the next one? Well, when I try to turn on, turn it on, there's just a black screen. It doesn't seem to work all at all. Mm, okay. Do you agree, everybody? Agree. Yes. Mm -hmm. Totally, very good. Okay, so uh, it doesn't seem to work at all. What's going next? Have you tried plugging my... it into a different socket, sir? Okay, have you tried plugging it into a different socket, sir? What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes. It's the first question. 
<laughs> they may. Yes, definitely. Very good job. Okay, and after that question, what do you think? What comes next? Yes, yes, I, I tried, tried that. It, but, it's... but it didn't seem to make any difference. Pretty good. And after that? In that case. In that case. Do you have do a you... different monitor? <laughs> <laughs> ah, to go twice here. Very good. And then? My son. My son has one. I think I'll go and check. Okay, I'm plugging it in now. I think there's a light coming on. It's working. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Very mm. good. <laughs> Magically, the problem is resolved. Huh. <laughs> okay, and the last one? Mm. No problem mm. at all. Happy to be of assistance. See, have a good day. Very good. This sounds like a typical conversation with the customer service with your internet provider. Yes. Mm. When you call to your company explaining that the internet is not working, is it easy to resolve it? What do you think? No. no never, right. never is easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the idea, guys, is we are going to have role plays, okay? We are going to pretend that we work in a customer service company, okay? One of you is going to be the customer and the other one is going to be the agent, okay? So imagine uh, I need one student, please, who wants to be the customer. Volunteer, please, to be Me. the customer. Who say me? Nelson? Yeah. Okay. So everybody, Nelson is going to be the customer. Nelson, the problem here is, look, you are calling because they sent the wrong package. You order a product online. You, pro, uh, you order a Harry Potter's book, but you receive another book named Peaceful thoughts <laughs> so it's not what you wanted i need a volunteer please to be the agent who wants to try me teacher thank you lorena lorena in this moment you had to try to offer a solution invent <laughs> the ones that you prefer okay <laughs> guys let's pretend that it's a real call okay ring okay Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good evening. <laughs> I'm calling okay. because I have a travel a pro a travel with the package. Uh, could you tell me more about your problem? Yes. Uh, you deliver the ground package. I order Harry Potter's book. And you send me the book of Peaceful Toth. Okay, so can you give me a number tracking of your delivery? Sure, is uh, 2122001. Okay, perfect. I, I see your uh, delivery. And I see your problem. I can offer in change uh, your book, but I need some days, five days for make this change. Okay, uh, in the other book? Uh, in this case, I sang Harry Potter's book and you need a, uh, Please sell me the peaceful truth. Okay, no problem. Uh, you call me before the deliver coming soon or what? Yes, I I make the change and put uh, your book on delivery and I stay um, pending of your delivery. 
uh, step by step for uh, your perfect delivery. Okay, I hope that this the uh, new delivery it's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Was Nelson a good customer? Yes or no? Sure, yes. always. <laughs> he was very nice, actually. He wasn't angry. He was accepting everything that Lorena was saying. So nice job. Very good. Okay. And Lorena, let's see. She was asking information. What did she never ask? Something important that she didn't ask. His name? Yes, the name, right? Remember that it's important to know his name so you can refer to him by using his name. But so far so good. Thank you guys, excellent job. So we're going to continue having some role plays but with different scenarios, okay? But that is something that we are going to continue doing in the next class because unfortunately we don't have more time. Now, before leaving as always, the Winner for today is Eulise, okay? So Eulise, you have to stay. The rest of you guys, you are free to go. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good Goodbye. night. See Bye. you. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Okay. Hello, Eulise. How are you? Hello, teacher. Your name is without S, right? Eulise. Yes, it's exactly yeah. Eulise Torres Torres. Yeah, I've never heard that before. I only listened like Eulises, like with a S at the end. Okay, but <laughs> uh, a specific Eulise. No. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, pretty good, excellent. Okay, Ulise, I don't want to take you so much uh, time. I know that you might be tired. This little meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have, all right? So, <laughs> Carlos, the class is over. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good night, see you tomorrow. It's okay, yeah. no worries. <laughs> okay. All right, that's funny. Uh, okay, so Elisa, do you have any questions about the class, a topic that maybe is not so clear, or about the platform? Any questions that you may have? Uh, the platform? No. But um, the this about the, the class today, mm -hmm. because uh, there are some thing uh and i don't i don't i don't have clear yes which ones uh let me see about hmm. um Let me see. Uh, lashing out is definition. About ah. definition. Okay. In this case, lash out, we can use it as a verb because it's a phrasal verb. Um, it has two meanings, okay? The first one is when you attack to someone, but by words. So we can say it or we can translate it like insultar or atacar a alguien, pero verbalmente, so with words. So an example, uh, imagine that you were very angry, okay? And you were talking to someone and you say, I was so angry that I lashed out 
my coworker. Okay, insulté a mi eh, compañero de trabajo. But okay. in that case, it's only with your words. There are some scenarios, of course, depending on the context that you can use it with, um, no with words, sino con golpes, right? También podemos usar lashed out como um, golpear a alguien, pero, I mean, atacándolo, right? Uh, so you can say, my best friend was drunk <laughs> and mm -hmm. he uh, lashed me out. Él me atacó a golpes, right? Pero es porque okay. estaba like with a lot of beers, ¿ok? Yes. So podemos usarlo en los dos contextos, tanto como solo de manera verbal, como también ya a los golpes. Ok, okay. y flower, teacher. Flowed. Flowed. Ok, yes. that one is an adjective. Eh, basically, ese es como un sinónimo de imperfecto o defectuoso. Ok. But so, the specific scenario is about, uh, is about, um, about dispositivo? Not really. Actually, we can use it in everything, in all the areas. Um, even with people, to describe people, we can say, hey, that man is flawed. Okay? My cell phone is flawed. Uh, imagine que están escribiendo un ensayo. Ay, my essay is flawed. So we can use it in all the scenarios, not necessarily only with devices. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, about uh, that vocabulary, or only that, but okay. um, uh, I would like uh, to ask me some question about the class because. Uh, I need to improve my my vocabulary or my speaking. Okay, perfect. If you, uh, I, I don't know if you could, if you can. Absolutely, no worries. Let me ask different questions. Um, let's start with this. Let's see. Can you describe your job? or your company, your job environment, using the vocabulary that we learned today? Um, tell me, I don't know what mean, what does mean environment? Environment is like el ambiente laboral, el ambiente. So okay. your work okay. environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I work like a mechanic. Mm -hmm. So my, um, my environment is a uh, excellent for me because my my boss is I have two two boys so both uh, are very uh, mm, kind and when I I don't know something uh, I can I can, uh, how would you say pedir? Puedo ask, pedir. Ask. Uh, I can ask uh, any help and they always, um, always help me in, in, in whatever, in a scenario about, uh, about maintenance uh, of the machine. So mm. for me, it's, it's, uh, it's excellent. Have you ever felt frustrated at work? Uh, frustrated or frustrated. Frustrated, yes. Um, sometimes I annoy it uh, about uh, some problem uh, of machine because uh, some operarios, or how do you say operario? Some people. Okay, if you want to say operario, um, o sea, operator. Una persona, 
Operator, una persona uh -huh. que opera la máquina. Yes, operator. Operator uh, always uh, told me, hey, uh, uh, this, uh, the machine doesn't work good. Uh, could you give me a help? Okay, but sometimes it's, it's very repetitive. Oh, it's very como repetitivo. Repetitive. Repetitive. Uh, the the problem. So that's why uh, uh, sometimes I I was annoyed. Annoyed. Because, yes, annoyed. Okay. Because it's it's difficult. It's hard. Uh, to resolve it, to, how do you say resolve it? Resolve. Resolve uh, some problem because it's, it's difficult, some problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to, I need to organize idea about the problem. That's good. All right, excellent. And the yes. last question, tell me, what is outsourcing? Okay, outsourcing. Um, you know, uh, I was a problem was was that uh, was that uh, vocabulary. But what does uh, the definition about uh, outsourcing? Because I don't know with a specific. Try with your own words. With your own words, what do you understand by outsourcing? I'm not sure about that teacher, but um, I think it's when people ha or company has a, a strategy or, or I don't know, or when, okay. I, don't, I don't know teacher, I don't Power. know, because you... specific, uh -huh. specific meant, uh, specifically, I don't know. Okay, in few words, if we try to give a definition, but very short, is when a company hires another company to do a specific job, okay? For example, if you work as a mechanic, you check some areas, but if you want to have another department like customer service department, but you don't have the people to do that, what will your company do? Will they will hire another people, another company, and they will do the job. They will work in the customer department, but only that. Ok, so básicamente es como que su compañía subcontrata a otra compañía, pero ellos se van a hacer cargo solamente del trabajo del customer department. Ok, ellos son como un poquito aparte. A eso se refiere el outsourcing. Ah, uh, okay. es que, uh, ok, es, um, I, I was thinking uh -huh. that, uh, uh, Eso se refería a una persona. Oh, what happens is that you can use it with, with both. Podemos usarlo como para una persona o para una company. Okay. 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 Yeah. No worries. Now During... it's more clear. Excellent. During this unit, in the unit number two, we will be talking about more, a little bit more about outsourcing. So if it is not so clear, no worries. During this week and the unit number two, vamos a seguir hablando de eso. Okay. okay, teacher, uh, sometimes I have a problem with my internet or sometimes um, I, I feel so, so tired. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I was a listener because uh, I need to to dress a, a little. I know, I totally understand and, and no worry about it. Uh, my recommendation is always uh, write the word listener, okay? Pero siempre conéctese, 
Okay, para que así yes. Zoom le cuente la attendance. And of course, I mean, yo sé que están cansados, es bien difícil el horario, I totally understand. So cuando se sienta bien, let's participate and let's go with everything, okay? Si en algún momento se siente mal o súper cansado, entonces it's okay, pero siempre conéctese. Okay, okay teacher, for uh, Friday, uh... It will be a class? Eh, no really. <laughs> so day off. Todavía no lo han confirmado así al 100%, pero eh, según me comunicaron, no van a haber clases. Es una suerte nacional. Solo falta que envíen como el correo ya confirmándolo. Pero lo oh. más probable es que no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. So, Eulise, thank you so much for staying. Uh, you can get to sleep and let's continue okay. tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. See you. See you. Good night.